Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Romans 13, verse 1. And it reads, Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. I repeat, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts, and it says, let every soul be subject to the governing authority. Now, what do we understand by that? Here he says, let every soul, now every soul speaks about, a man speaks about the living soul, the living being, that is every human being, both male and female, on the face of the earth. So he said, let every soul be subject to the governing authority. Now, who is the governing authority? A governing authority speaks about the ruling government, speaks about the council speaks about the parliament the senate speaks about the house of representatives in some countries speaks about um even a school teacher is a is a is he has do his jurisdiction has those who he governs a judge has whom he governs and the police have who they govern you know so he says be subject to the governing authority primarily if we say the governing authority we speak about the authority or the ruling party who is in charge of the government at that point in time so whether it be um, a ruling party in the present or in the future or in the past it says let every soul be subject to the governing authority. That means let every soul be subservient, not directly subservient, but let every soul be circumspective. Let every soul be subordinative to the governing authority. Then it says, for there is no authority except from God. So what it is saying is that everybody in the position of authority be it in the house of representative in the house of senate the president the head of state the ruling governing body are put by god they are said all authority no authority for there is no authority except from god so all those that are in authority are appointed in one way or the other by god now the the way in which people are appointed to authority is by democracy that is government by the people and there's a belief that the voice of god is the voice of the people the voice of the people are, is the voice of god so the majority of votes of the people is the voice of god and therefore there is an uh, an indirect endorsement from heaven which says that the majority of the people's vote is whom God wants to be there. I mean, if we want to look at it from that point of view, so for there is no authority except from God. Then the last piece is, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. So it's reiterating that all those in authority are appointed by God. And therefore, let everyone be subject to that authority. Let everyone be subservient to that authority. Now, and how can a soul be subject to a governing authority? Now, it doesn't mean that every morning you wake up from your house and go to parliament and say good morning, or you say, or you say, um, I am, I, I am subject to you or do anything that that shows them that they are in authority that is not the way to be subject to to the governing 
authority. The way to submit to God's authority is indirect. It's a way of obeying the law. Because those governing authorities are those that put the law in place. They put the constitution of a land in place. They put the rules of a land in place. And the way to be subject to a governing authority is to obey the law. Do things the right way. Do things you are meant to do. Do things you are, are meant to, to do rightly. Follow the law in everything that you do. And that is the way to be subject to the governing authorities. Now I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word. That God is able to give us more revelation or knowledge on this word. That we will be able to walk with it and run with it. That ultimately God will give us the grace to be subject to any governing authorities who is ruling at every point in time. And give us the grace that if we are not following and going after the precepts and the statutes and the laws of the land, that he gives us the grace to continue and to follow after the laws of the land at every point in time. All these are asked through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thank you so much for listening. And God bless, God bless in Jesus' name. Amen, amen.